is joining us today from the title of this video. I'm letting my dog pick my TBR for November. So last month you guys know that Sante picked my TBR and I know I had some books that I'll be getting to um, last month and it was a lot of fun letting my cat pick my TBR but this time this is my dog's turn to pick my TBR and I have a few books that I'm hoping that he would pick between because I am undecided about my TBR for it. Um, November just because I'm doing NL Rhymo so I want to keep my TBR a bit open for this month just because I'll be doing NL Rhymo and I'm just wanting to see what my reading mood would be because I'm just excited about that I'm just nervous about NL Rhymo and I know I want to do some reading as well so yeah and I'm going to be showing you the options for Charlie so for the two set of books that I'm having Charlie choose and the first one is One Dark Throne by Kendar Blake, which is the second book of the Three Car Three Dark Crown series. And I've read the first book. I'm going to be reading this physically this time because I didn't enjoy the audiobook for the first book. And of course, um, this follows um, three sisters who had to fight to the death to the throne and they were raised separately. So, And I'm liking the series. I just want to read this physically just because it's I didn't enjoy the audiobook. So I want to give a physical... Um, read a try and the other one is Finale by Stephanie Garber which is the last book of the Carval trilogy and I'm sad about it but I really want to get to it since I could listen to this on Aya book and I love the Aya book so I'm gonna have Charlie pick, pick these between these two sequels that I've been wanting to read but I know I'm definitely gonna be reading Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco in November just because I love um, Stocking Jack the Ripper so much so I'm hoping like um, Charlie would pick one of these sequels for me to read. The next two set of books I'm going to have him pick, and they're both middle grade. I just thought, like, for NaNoWriMo, I would want to read books that I could get through really quickly. And the first one is Story Thieves by um, James Riley. And I've been interested in this book since um, um, I saw this at Target, and I and I saw that, like, this is, like, a um, similar to the, the book jumper, but it's, like, with writing, and I'm just, like, excited about it and this has been grabbing my interest since I heard the synopsis and I got a good deal at Target and I'm just this is one of middle grades that I'm just wanting to get to and same as um, The School of Good and Evil by Simon Shinani I think that's how you pronounce the author's last name this one I've been wanting to read for a while too just because um, the title really grabbed my interest and so did the synopsis so I'm hoping Charlie will pick um, between the um, one of these books for me to read, especially when I want to read something very quickly. The next two set of books are contemporary books because I know they always get me out of a rain slump. And the first one I'm be having as one of Charlie's options is Always Never Yours by Ashley Wib Wibberly and then Austin Shijman Broca. And I know this is a um, retelling of Romeo and Juliet, which I'm really excited about. And I know... Their other, um, their book that just came out this year is another Shakespeare retelling, which I'm really excited about. And the other one is Match Me If You Can by um, Tiana Smith. I'm just wanting to get these um, two books, and they're both contemporary. And these two are, well, this one's pretty short, but this one I can also get through very quickly because I just know that contemporary usually gets me out of the rain slip, so I need um, con some contemporary to, as my back up for November. <laughs> and the last two books are the newly released books that I also want to get to and I've been trying to catch up on those so I can do book review on them especially the ones that I got in subscription boxes but the first one is the um, the Bone Charmer by um, Brianna Shields and this is about a girl who can tell the future by bones I believe and I know that's been intriguing me since I got this from a unicorn crate box and I've just been wanting to read it because I never heard about this until I got it and I'm just really excited to give this a try and the other one is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson which is um, who is the author of um, Enchantment of Ravens and I really enjoyed that and this is about a magical library which I'm really excited about and I just thought Charlie would pick one of these to see which one I should get to for so according to him even though I have some other newly released books that I may put in my TBR but I'm not gonna be talking about in this video so yeah. And before you, we get to see which books that Charlie will pick for me, I'm going to put these books in a, like a, um, gallon size, um, Ziploc bag just because, like, I just, please don't hate me. 
I love Charlie to death. I just don't want dog drools all over my books, so that's why I'm putting them in that block. Like, just want to let you guys know before we see which books Charlie picked for me. So I'm here in my family room, and here's Charlie. Yeah, this is going to be more difficult than I thought, because I thought he could sit, but he wants to lay down, so I'm going to try to angle this, like, lower so he can help me pick my books. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Okay, Charlie, which one? He's so confused right now. Charlie, you're just gonna help me out pick out a book. I think he's going for one dark brown. Which one? This one or this one? Yeah, he's very confused. Charlie, Charlie, I'm not the choice here. You gotta go pick one of my books. Charlie, Charlie, come on. Oh. Which one are you picking? No, Charlie! Charlie! Come on. Oh, I think one Dark Throne is definitely a winner. <laughs> okay. Which one? Charlie. Which one of these? Okay, I'll put him on. I'll try to put him on the floor and see which one you'll pick. Come on, Charlie. I need your help here. You're being my little helper. Yes, I love you too, but... <laughs> oh, he picked Story Thieves. <laughs> Story Thieves is a winner. <laughs> You're being a good boy. Yes, you are. Nice. Good boy. Okay. Now I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use this method just because it will be easier. Okay, Charlie. Which contemporary I should read? Really? You're picking the ones on the left side? I can't tell. Do you need to sniff them first? Oh, he picked. Match me if you can. Yay! Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. Can you back up a bit? This is going to be hard to choose. Okay. I'm just going to put these in my lap. Or have them like this. Which one? I know you want another tree, but... Okay, I'm going to do it this way. Okay. Charlie, which one? Maybe this would be more helpful if my parents were around and helped me, but... Come on, Charlie. Come on. You're doing so good. Come on. You're going to get a treat. Come on, Charlie. Maybe I'll do it this way. Okay. Okay. Choose one of these and you'll get a treat. Is this far? That, I'll move my legs. I know the books are far away from the camera, but... Which one, Charlie? Yeah, he seriously keeps looking at me. Come on, Charlie, you're being such a good boy! Come on! Come on, Charlie! Charlie! Pick one of these. <laughs> yes, I know you're cute, but... Come on, Charlie. Come on. Should I put them on my lap? Maybe that'll help? Huh? What books on my lap will help? Hmm? Okay. Uh, are you going for Sorcery of Thorns? Are you sure? Is that the book you want me to read? Is that it? Yeah, he's seriously looking at me. Is Source of Thorn? Yep, he's done. Source of Thorn it is. So we're back in my rooms, and these are the four books that Charlie chose for me. The first book that Charlie chose is When Dark Throne by Ken Darp. Like, I was hoping he would 
pick finale, but I'm still excited to read um, One Dark Throne. And he picked um, Story Thieves by James Riley. I'm glad that he picked this because I've been wanting to read this for so long since I um, got this like a few months ago, I believe. And I'm just, the story concept seems, it just sounds amazing. I'm also really excited about reading it. And then he chose um, Match Me If You Can by Tiana Smith. And I'm excited about it. I, it's pretty short, so I'll read this really quickly. And I'm just hoping this will get me out of the rain slump if I end up in a rain slump. And the last book he chose is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. And I'm just really excited about it. And plus, I really like the cover. And I'm... And the last book he chose is Sorcery of Thorns, uh, Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. And I'm really excited about well, it's one of the newly released books that I've been wanting to read for, for a while since I got it from Owlcrate. And I'm just really excited about it, especially when it involves with a magical library. So that's all for um, my November TBR that Charlie picked out. Thank you, Charlie, for picking out for me, even though he was so confused the whole time. I know I have more books that I want to read in November, but I just want to keep show you guys the ones that Charlie picked. And I will be telling you guys the other books that I'm going to be reading for November in a wrap-up. But, yeah, let me know in the comments down below um, what books that you are going to be um, reading in November or if you want my pets to pick my TBR uh, more. And, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!